right, so now I want to get down to it. I want to know what you guys think about the Supreme and Louis collab. Have you guys heard anything like the quality, stuff like that? I heard the quality's not that great. Yeah, so I, we, we saw a video uh, the other day. We were coming home, and uh, actually it was yesterday. And some kids spend like $12,000 on maybe like five or six items. Oh, yeah. It's very easy because a lot of the items are priced really high. Which is expected from Louis Vuitton, but uh, we I saw a sweater in uh, Dallas. It was the red one with the Supreme and the Louis v, Louis V print on the inside. Honestly, man, that was it was straight quality. Like, I mean, but it's it's Louis Vuitton, so you're we're asking about quality, and there's really that's their that's their niche. <laughs> like that's their thing is yeah. is quality product. So, um, but all the pieces are nice from the bandana to the the wallet the red wallet fired backpacks fired luggage fired it's just i think it's a uh, it's definitely obviously super hype man oh, yeah. people are gun you know want it even more now that they canceled the other releases oh, yeah. i think that it's good um just because once again it shows what a brand can do you mm -hmm. know that's that's pretty cool to do such a big there's collab. no limits really now now yeah like that i think that it's kind of going to pick up steam and what the next one is Gucci right. obviously with the Blazers maybe I don't know then Prada I, I mean it's they do collabs with everyone I mean yeah. Babe does collabs with everyone I mean Fragment does collabs with everyone I think it's going to open it up to these high end brands going you know to these streetwear you know if that's what you want to mm -hmm. call it brands and doing these collaborations and it becoming more regular I wouldn't doubt it if in a couple of years we see another Louis collab Yeah. you know I just feel that it's it's brought a little bit of life back into what kind of seemed kind of stagnant for a little bit just Yeezy after Yeezy after Yeezy after Yeezy and just Jordan after Jordan and horrible colorways horrible colorways horrible a lot of colorways. people a lot of people too will uh, you know they're they're not willing to accept that change you know like oh big brands getting involved with streetwear I mean you can't turn away from change that's the biggest thing we've learned from here and I want uh, me personally, you know, I've I've done so many things I would never have done if I didn't get in this business. So um, to turn away from change is a uh, is unjust. You know, you just gotta you gotta accept the change for what it is and hope that the next collab they put you know what you want in there. And that's the thing. Like you never know. There are a lot of Basquiat fans out there, but a lot of Supreme fans don't know who Basquiat is. So it's they do these crazy, you know, collaborations, but they, it's it's for a specific audience, and you, you'll get your turn. You know, everybody gets their turn, and then yeah, you'll be like, much. those Michael Jackson fans, dude. You, you know how many Supreme the Michael Jackson fans have all over, over the world, and you just put him on your shirt, like it's. I mean, it. You can't you can't turn away from change. It's coming. So, yeah. you guys sell mostly, you know, the high brands like Babe, Supreme, Antisocial, you know, stuff like that. <clears throat> Without giving away, like, your plug and everything, you know, is how, you know, how do you guys obtain it in a way, and, and how hard is it, or easy, easy is it, and stuff like that? Well, it's pretty, I mean, pretty easy, I guess. Most, well, not most of us, some of our items are definitely consignment, so we do come across, yeah. you know, some of our pieces through through the consignment that we, we do offer. Um, some of it is buyouts from local people or sometimes people out of town that will drive to to go do the buyout of if it's close if it's too far obviously we could work something out um other than that getting online and actually buying the products on the drop there's uh, multiple members of the second to none team we got uh, myself john uh, my girlfriend mariah and our other friend uh who's also with us uh, felix and my brother Come release day, we all have bank accounts, <laughs> and we go to it just like anybody else would, man. Yeah. It's a real hustle. I mean, getting out there, getting the restocks, getting the updates on everything we can. Um, you know, I work nights, so if there's an overseas drop, obviously, you know, I'm the one who's gonna go after it. Uh, we definitely make sure that there's multiple people trying for every drop. And then the all more the, time. the older pe the older pieces too. Like sometimes you see these accounts online. <laughs> and uh, like people that we we've been messing with for a long time um, that sell you know the exclusive stuff that we're trying to um, you know bring to our store so we can get it from them you know and, and bring it into our store um, so definitely uh, you know 
as any avenue that we could take really yeah. is a it's not a secret it's just like doing just... what everyone else is <laughs> you know can do it's just yeah. actually taking the time to do it to you know go through instagram and find authentic things you know find authentic sellers yeah. getting out there and, and meeting people at events that you know oh, you can yeah, make definitely. contacts who want to let things go because if you came up to me and were like hey do you have some things you want to let go of yeah there's i definitely need room you know okay. and so do they so people want to sell stuff it's just going out there and making and, contacts yeah, getting talking, them, to people, talking to them uh, people you can do whole buyouts you know of their collection if you yeah. wanted to and waking up at 10 or or at odd hours to go after the drop you yeah. know and not gonna lie you know we we tried the bots too are they successful most of the time no no but if it gives us no an, a little bit better of a chance of coming up with some stuff it. that we can bring into town, definitely. And we try proxies and different things like that. It's just, uh, you know, it's 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 Most always time, something. Yeah. It's always something. It's so always something. <laughs> we just gotta do what we can to get it straight from the manufacturer. And that, that as far as as close as we've gone, it's just online web store. It's yeah. the closest thing. Getting to it, you know, so. on every drop, every every Thursday. You know the whole season Supreme every hard. every Saturday for the babe drops just Supreme's constant. harder than harder yeah than definitely babe. Supreme is is hard right now babe. it's if you're not on there and like less but the than previous it. Supreme season was was easier you know oh, like yeah. when I was able to get the punching bag this year we missed the bike oh, yeah. but we will have a bike soon yeah.